Let's answer some questions about our first all-natural hydroponic grow box. Now the first thing is, this is just an experiment. It's our first one, and there's many more to come. This is just one technique that we're working with. So this isn't a tutorial, it's just sharing what we're doing. If you try any of this at home, you're experimenting too. So in the first video you saw this is cedar and we use a technique called yakasugi, which is burning the outer layer of it. Now cedar is pretty much a soft wood. It's not really good for making a watertight connection. And I don't have a joiner or a planer. So we're just using the rough wood just like it came from the store. Now it comes with a smooth side and a rough side. So I did have to sand down one side. Now when we put it together, there's going to be big gaps where the seams are. And what we did was take some of the eco-friendly biodegradable bags that are made out of plants. Basically sugar and potatoes, starches, stuff like that. And we folded it and put it into the seams. Then when we torch that box, that biodegradable bag melted into the seams. And we're hoping it would be good enough to seal it up long enough so we could grow some plants. Now to further seal it, we use shellac. Now shellac's a natural material, it's made out of stuff from beetles, you can look it up. And you can get it pre-made, or you can get it in flakes like this. It's really brittle, you crumble it up, and it dissolves in alcohol. Now I like this because it's a natural sealer, and it dries really fast because alcohol evaporates quickly. After we put it together, we filled it up with water, left it overnight. The next day, everything looked fine. So we planted out some radish just like we did before with the clay pebbles and nutrient solution. We started it outside but we brought it inside because it got cold and was raining. After a few days it had a small tiny leak. A couple of drops a minute came out. So I put a tiny bit of tape right where that drop was so that I could address that on the next grow. Now the shellac does discolor with a lot of water. And when we redid this the inside of it was wet. But one more coat of shellac on it and it turned back to good as new. So this is just one technique. We're trying a bunch of different things. Like I said, not really a tutorial, but if you try it, you're just experimenting too. If you figure out something that works, share it with us. And maybe we'll figure something out. But we're really excited because with the clay pebbles, we don't have to keep a bunch of nutrients in there at one time. They absorb some of the moisture. So when we get a little bit in there, they absorb it. If any does leak out, it's no big deal, the plants will still survive for a day or so. And after the plants get a little big, we just make sure there's about half of an inch of nutrient solution in the bottom. So this wasn't all that hard. I know everyone's not gonna go out and buy a torch and fire harden all the wood and that, but this is a step in the process. It's fun, it's learning different things instead of just grabbing a bottle and throwing a plant in it. So anything that we do, you can do at home with a different container. So don't get confused and think you have to do this. This is just how we learn new things. We help each other and keep on growing.